Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Mr. E Sets the Table. No, not that kind of table, Mr. E. This kind. It's a great way to give a lot of information in an organized manner. It will help to understand how WikiTree tables are set up. Or, if you'd prefer, jump ahead to the shortcuts segment. This index lists beginning times of each segment, so you can fast forward to any of particular interest. A WikiTree table starts by creating rows with a left curly bracket, followed by a pipe. There is no space between them. Not that kind of pipe, Mr. E. In case you're not familiar with it, the pipe is with the backslash key, here, named on character maps as a vertical bar. The next line is a single pipe. Type name beside it. The third line is a line break, which is a pipe followed by a hyphen. The fourth line is another single pipe. Type John beside it. You can add as many pairs of lines and line breaks as you need. The last line closes the table with a pipe and right curly bracket again with no space. Now, let's add columns. There are two ways to do this. You can add a pipe on a new line without a line break. So if there are many columns, you can have them in lines, like this. Or you can create columns by using two single pipes side by side. Okay, quit goofing around. Beside name and the pair of pipes, type age. Add another pair of pipes and type occupation. In the second line, after John, add the pair of pipes and type 48, followed by another pair of pipes. Then type dentist. Here is the latest table but we can make it easier to read. This is done by adding instructions in the very first opening line. First, let's put a border around it using one, the width of a pixel. The code is border equal, straight quotes, one, straight quotes. There are no spaces. The border can be made wider if you choose by changing the 1 to 5, for example. As a note of caution, some editing software, such as Word, changes the straight quotes to angled quotes when copied, and the WikiTree code will not work. If you're having formatting trouble, check the quotes. We now have this, but it's too cramped. It needs some margins. Margins are called cell padding in code, and the instruction is added on the first line. Cell padding equal straight quotes, six straight quotes, again with no spaces. This means there is a margin of six pixels on both sides and on the top and bottom of the text. It can be adjusted. This is easier to read and forms the basic table. The table is automatically set on the left margin. If you want it centered on the page, add the instruction align equal straight quotes center straight quotes on the opening line. This is a comparison of the two tables placement. Tables can be made sortable. In this example, there is a column of fruit and a column of prices. Note the class instruction in the first line is sortable in straight quotes. The preview shows the table 
but not the sort buttons. Those aren't active until you save your work and go to the public profile view. This can be sorted alphabetically or by price. If you click on the sort button again, the reverse order is shown. You can also use tables to create effective spacing for documents. Our example is a deed of trust. Add the opening instruction line with a cell padding of 6. We don't want a visible border, so don't add one. Follow through by creating line breaks and new lines. Then close the table. Now add columns with a pair of pipes. This is the end result. However, if you don't want extra lines, change the heading layout. Move all the first column text into one row. Separate each part with a BR, not BRR, Mr. E, or line break tag, which is a left angled bracket. The letters B, R, and a right angled bracket. End with a set of pipes. Note, in this instance, B, R, and B, R with a forward slash work the same way. Beside that set of pipes, move the three right parentheses into one row, separating them with a B, R tag and ending with a set of pipes. Do the same for the third column, moving all text into that row, separating each with a BR tag. Delete the unnecessary pipes and line break. Make sure the closing code is in place. This is the end result, which takes up less space than the other method. HTML code is strongly discouraged on Wikitree. However, if you already have a table set up with HTML code, there is a site which converts it to Wikitree markup. Click the Convert button, then copy the new code to your profile. Here is the URL. As a second shortcut, rather than manually create a table, you can use the site tab to wiki that will do it for you. For instance, we want to make a table of household members for this census report found on Family Search. At the top right, click on Tools. Next, click on Copy to Clipboard. Paste that onto your Open Excel or Google spreadsheet. For this example, since we are only interested in the household members, copy only that information. Open the site tab to Wiki and paste your information into it. Look at the bottom of the box. We want column headers, so leave that box checked. But we don't want row headers, so leave that unchecked. Leave the compress table box checked. If you don't, you will get a long line of code that uses single pipes on each line instead of double pipes in a row, like this. If you want the table sortable, leave the box checked. In this case, we don't, so uncheck that box. Click Do It. You are given the code for the table to paste into the Wikitree profile. Note the exclamation marks, not pipes, are used beside the column headers. It makes the cell a column heading, and as a result, the text is bold and centered. Copy the table code. Paste this code into the Wikitree profile, and add a cell padding of 6 to the instructions. Click Preview. The table is done. You can do this with any table set up in Excel or Google for family Bible information as an example. 
tables can take many forms and use many codes, as seen here. As a reminder, only the basics have been covered in this video. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.